Now I'm going to show you a torso pass. Or a horizontal pass, it's also called. And for that one, the wrap comes straight across, baby. Make sure the bottom, as with any pass, comes under his bottom to his knees. And you want to tighten each part of the wrap. On a straight track like this, you can tell you, that you're tightening each strand bit by bit. Keep track of what you're doing so that everything's evenly tightened. Mm -hmm. And there's a torso pass coming from under my arm, straight across him, and under this arm. And it's also called a horizontal pass, which just goes horizontally across our bodies. And this actually also holds him very closely to me, much like a rebozo pass does. It just isn't coming over one shoulder like a rebozo does. And this is the first pass in a back wrap cross carry. Um, any carry that has a horizontal pass like this is going to be a lower carry because you cannot get the top rail of the wrap any higher than your armpit. So I can't get him up where he's looking over my shoulder in this carry because I can only get the top of the wrap so high. Um, but there's nothing wrong with a low back carry as long as you're both comfortable. And I actually like it a lot for if he's going to fall asleep, a low carry makes it easier to pull the wrap up over the back of his head to support him. So that's nice for that purpose. And the most basic wrap you can do with this pass is if you had a, you could do a torso carry with it, like they do in Africa, with a piece of fabric that would be a little wider and not as long as this one, and they just tie and tuck it in the frontier and call it a wrap. So that's a horizontal pass. Um, with a longer wrap, you can tie a knot here with one of these Western wraps we use. And that's a, how you do a torso carry with this. Get your arms out. 